we're going to sketch this graph. We have to be very careful about which of these line segment tools we use and we we'll use a closed or an open dot. So let's start with the first part right here. So it's five. This right here is a constant function, so it's gonna be a horizontal line when x is less than or equal to two. There's no minimum here, so x can go past right here negative five, which means we need to use this ray. So on one end of the ray, it stops, and the other end of the ray, uh, it keeps going forever. Horizontal line, y coordinate of five, and the biggest x value is negative two. So here's x value of negative two going to positive five y value. It's the first point of the line. And this line goes to the left because the x coordinate can be anything less than negative two. Right there. All right, let's do the last piece right here, zero, if x is greater than one. So we're gonna use the ray again because there's no maximum value for x. So it can be one or more, so it's starting at one. The y value is zero, so mine just happens to be a horizontal line on the x-axis. Trying to get this very precisely. Okay, that worked. To any, and you can click any of these x values, doesn't matter, because uh, it's gonna go forever to the right. This is not the end of the line, this red dot that we just put down. Of course, you can move any of your dots as well. All right, now it's time for the middle. Negative two is the slope. Y-intercept is positive one. Now, which of these three lines we use? We need to use the one that is finite. It does not go any longer on either side. All right, so I'm just gonna naively graph this. Y-intercept of one, slope negative two, which means over one, down two. Now, that's not the correct line right there. It's part of it, but I did not pay attention to these x values. So this line goes up to positive one. So this is the end of the line here that I put in. Negative two is the smallest x value. So the one we put down is at x value of zero. So I'm gonna go again, same. Uh, now I'm thinking up to left one, but you can also think right one and down two. And I'm gonna go right one, down two. And right there, okay. Be careful, don't click any extra on your graph because you're gonna put down another line. And if you do that, you gotta clear, unfortunately. All right, we're almost done. This is most of the graph. I do need to fill in the point here at negative two, five was perfectly matched up. But over here, when X is positive one, we have to fill in, one's gonna be a filled in dot, the other's gonna be an empty dot. So how do we know we're at, well, first of all, X coordinates one, so it's happening here and here. We're on this negative slope line if x equals one because this is a less than or equal to one. So we're gonna fill in the point at the end of the negative slope line right there. This x greater than one, that's y is constant of zero. So we have that line segment in, but what we're gonna do is fill in an empty point right there. And that means do not include that point. When x equals one, we're using the filled in dot. And here we go, submit. All right, so that is how you do this. I am gonna add an extra dot at the top. I have a feeling it's gonna make the answer wrong, but I just wanna try it, submit. Yeah, so I got a small penalty right there. So you don't wanna do this dot. Now, because I put the dot down, I can't delete the dot, unfortunately. And so I think you're kind of in trouble at this point. If you've done this, you gotta reset and do it again.